Hi guys, Steph here. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous pen. Yes, for you regular viewers that watch my videos on a regular basis, you would have seen this pen in a recent pen haul. Now, basically what's happened, it's been put to a side. I've got a gentleman that actually reserved the pen, subject to restoration, etc. And, well, I've only just managed to get round to restoring it, servicing it, etc. Now, what we've got for you here is a gorgeous, handsome, Swan Leverless Pen L312-90 The L312 is the model The 90 indicates that this one is in this gorgeous silver lizard skin pattern Now these particular pens from circa early, I would say early 1930s came in numerous different colours not only different colours but different trim etc so yeah they came in sort of a reds, blues, greens all different coloured lizard skins but as I say this one the 31290 is the silver lizard skin now as I say from sort of round about early 1932's a lovely size pen um, it's approximately 132 millimeters capped around the diameter of the barrel it's a lovely it's actually a tad over 12 millimeters in diameter now let's first of all show you the barrel imprint now because of the color of the pen what I've actually done is highlighted it for you but there you go you can see nice and clearly it says Swan leverless pen, it's got the Swan logo to the left there um, I think it's got a patent number underneath It's got made in England And I think it says maybe Todd and Company as well there as well But as you can see, a lovely clear imprint As I say, I've highlighted it for you Because generally it's a little bit difficult to show on camera with these with these lights that I actually use now to the bottom of the barrel if we just show you there again I've not highlighted them so I'm hoping you can actually see you'll see that it says L312-90 so you've got the model number to the end of the pen there to the end of the barrel while we're at the end of the barrel there you can see it's got this knurled sort of black knob to the end here because as it says it's a leverless pen so that is the filler knob which we'll show you in a moment let's take you up to the to the cap you can see it's got these two rather thin cap bands there and then it's got the very recognizable swan with the logo to the top there clip and to the very top we've got this black black button to the top with this gold button to the center there with this swan swan logo so all in all a gorgeous gorgeous pen now when i say gorgeous pen um when i actually picked it up um and began working working on it what sorry that's my phone going there um what i actually did is actually looked at the cap and i noticed there was quite a severe well, I was going to say crack, but in my opinion, it's not a crack. It's what well, it's it's a split. Now, the reason it's a split, um, well, first of all, let me just show you this picture here. So there you go. You can see the sort of split to the cap there. Um, unfortunately, the previous owner tried repairing it. He made a bit of a a botched job, so I had to actually literally take out all the the filling or whatever he actually used to fill it okay and what I actually did I actually cut it out slightly the split and I then filled it with well what I actually used a clear epoxy now if I show you where the split was you can see this line here going up there so you can see in my opinion it's much much better okay 
Now, you'll notice it looks like a black line. The reason being, when they made these pens, I believe the, the celluloid material that they used was a sheet. And what they did, I believe they wrapped it around a mandrel to create, if you like, a tube. And what happens, um, especially with some of these models here, that, yeah, I never sort of recommend people do it, but people actually cap um, or post the cap to the end of the barrel here, and that creates, it splits along the seam. Now, the seam also applies on the, on the barrel. If you can actually see there, I don't know how clear it is, but you can see this sort of line going all the way down the barrel. That's the seam again for the barrel, but there's no there's no sort of split on the barrel. That's absolutely perfect. So yeah, so what we had, we had a bit of a problem. We had this, as I say, I'm not going to call it a crack. It's more of a split. I'm trying to find where it is. Yeah, it was along this sort of... It looks like a black line. The reason it's a black line because you'll notice that the pattern's got these black uh, sort of squares and where it's sort of, um, where it was actually connected, it sort of creates like a black line because of the, because of the material. But there you go. So in my opinion, the split has actually been, well, yeah, it's been repaired. It's, it's not going anywhere. It's nice and smooth. Um, as you can see, the cap screws on as it should do. There's no problems there. There's no problems with the bands here. The bands are actually nice and sturdy. They don't move, etc. So in my opinion, I think we've solved, we've solved the problem. So let's unscrew the cap for you. Let's show you the pen in numerous different angles. I mean, apart from the cap there, the pen, in my opinion, is absolutely superb. Um, it's superb to the extent that a lot of these sort of finials to the top there and the, the button to the end are generally discoloured. You can see both of these are lovely and black. So the pen itself, apart from this little problem that we had, is absolutely superb. There's the section there, and if I twirl it round slightly somewhere, um, I think there it is. You can see it's also got swan to the section there. It's got a lovely swan number three nib, 14 carat, maybe Todd and Company Limited, made in England. So it's got a lovely, quite a large nib, as you can see. There's a sideways view. There's the swan feed underneath. You can see everything is lovely and clean. It's also got the word swan underneath the feed there. So all in all, again, in my opinion, a lovely handsome pen. A lovely comfortable pen for me personally with my large hands. Now, how does it fill? Well, quite simply, the leverless pens. Um, what you actually do, I've put a new sack in it, a a neck sack in this pen you have to actually use quite a large sack inside but in effect what happens is you actually turn this knob all the way like so in turn there's a bar inside that sort of if you like sort of twists the sack inside and then when you turn the bar rotates back to the original position the sack inside inflates to the original position and in turn takes ink into the sack. Yep, I know you people like to see them working, so let's try it out. So let's pop it into the ink. I'm sure you could hear that bubbling there. That's precisely what we like to hear. So I'm going to put a little bit of ink in it, it's just for a writing sample. And this is the first time I've tested the pen, so you will see what I see. So, what we have is a... A swan leaveless pen. A 
L31290 Made in England circa 1930s It's actually writing absolutely lovely Okay, so we've got a swan We've got a swan nib. Does it have any flex? Well, there we go. By looking at that, I would say it does have a little bit of flex. There we go. So it's writing, I would say, with a medium line writing absolutely gorgeous but with a little variation in line with a little pressure on the downward stroke you can see we're getting a little bit of variation so a gorgeous writer so although we had this little bit of a problem here in my opinion the problem has been sort of rectified it's looking much better now, lovely and smooth, everything's been smooth and polished and the whole pen in my opinion is in superb condition and as you can see writes absolutely beautifully. So as I say the only problem with these occasionally you'll find them, as I say I'm not going to call it a crack, it's more of a split along the sort of seam if you like when they originally made these pens as I say the celluloid was made into a tube and it has a seam which unfortunately if you begin to post post your caps on the end of the pen which I don't recommend anyway it will cause problems but there you go a gorgeous handsome fountain pen I hope you've enjoyed looking at it as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment below, don't be shy. Have you subscribed? If not, why not? Subscribe now. And don't forget, please stay safe. But for now, from me and this gorgeous pen, I'll just say bye-bye for now.